Hi, my name is Beth Pratt and I'm the California Director for the National Wildlife Federation. And this is my home. Uh, it's really important to me to be connected with nature on a daily basis and I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I live uh, outside Yosemite National Park on the southwest border and at about 3,000 feet and just have this amazing view every day that's filled with uh, wildlife like bobcats and bears and mountain lions uh, and more importantly frogs uh, which is my favorite animal. I thought I'd uh, do my first storytelling blog on frogs and my frog pond but that's gonna have to wait because uh, we had a beautiful wildflower bloom which I thought I'd share with you uh, for our first blog. So we're gonna go down to the Merced River Canyon and check out what it looks like in spring with the bloom of poppies so stay tuned. Oh, I have to introduce you to my dogs before we do wildflowers. Tioga, come here, Tioga. I have to introduce you. This is Tioga. That is Isoon. Hello, Isoon. Say hello. And then Dante. Come here, Dante. I call them my dog pack here. And they are just such a fun part of my life. But they're not going to be going on the wildflower walk because um, they would disturb things. So we don't want them running through the California poppies. So I spend a lot of time in the Merced River Canyon near my home. And here's the beautiful Merced River that flows out of Yosemite. I come down here almost daily on lunch or in the afternoon just to do a quick walk or hike or run or in the summer swim in the river. It's a beautiful place and even more beautiful in springtime with scenes like these. This is what the California poppy bloom looks like in spring just hillsides of sunshine. And of course, we wouldn't have any wildflower bloom at all without the important pollinators, like the bumblebees and the beautiful and colorful butterflies. But did you also know that a beetle is a very important pollinator for the California poppy, not one we traditionally think as a pollinator? So I hope you enjoyed this introduction to some California wildflowers in spring, and I'll leave you with some of the best photos I took from our walk. Have a wonderful day, and be sure to get out in nature in your area.